Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a very quick, bare bones tutorial to the strength curve. I already have the main parts of it drawn behind me so that I don't waste time doing that. I'm going to try and keep this video short, get through the important information quickly, and how the strength curve relates to training and athletic performance. The strength curve basically slopes. You have an eccentric period coming down. You have the amortization or the direction change phase of the end. Lift, also called angle Q. You have an acceleration phase in which you're concentrically contracting, you're accelerating and lifting the weight. You have a point at which you reach your maximum force for the motion. And then, of course, you have a returning eccentric phase and a force loss phase afterwards. This concentric slope up, also called angle A. Angle A is the angle of how steep this acceleration or increase of force is. You also have T max, which is the amount of time in milliseconds it takes to reach your maximum force. And then you have your limit at the top. That's the maximum amount of force in ideal situations you could produce. That is your limiter factor for this whole entire thing, which is why often after we've set a foundation for athletes and individuals or trainers, trainees, we focus on the limit strength for a little while. We build that up. We get them a foundation of strength. Then we focus on getting them to steepen their angle A, to make their F max higher in relation to their limit, which is what the Soviets focused on with their athletes. They almost worshipped this relationship, trying to get their force max to equal their limit. Because that's when you'd really get outstanding athletic performance. Um, the other area you focus on for athletes once they're ready for it, their body's conditioned for it, is to make angle Q. Rather than being this gradual slope, you get it steeper and steeper and steeper. So that eventually, just boom, they can reverse direction really fast. They'll be agile, they'll be quick, they'll be explosive, and they can drive the weights very rapidly because, boom, they're already going at a very steep angle. They just have to maintain it and get as high as they can in force production. Power, the ability to explosively move yourself or objects or opponents or whatever, is the relationship of force times the distance over the amount of time. So you compress this as much as possible, make it as high as possible, and as steep as possible. That's power. 